Hey guys, Rani here, your go-to instructor if you want to learn to design with Canva. Today I'm back with a new tutorial for you and this one is going to be about finding interesting fonts for your design. So uh, I'm going to share with you a couple of resources I regularly use for finding fonts for my design. So of course you can start with Canva. And of course, Canva has a very, very good and decent and broad library of fonts that you can use. But sometimes you want something a little bit different or sometimes you just you just simply overwhelmed by the quantity of fonts that there is in Canva. And to be very honest, the fact that they have such a long list, sometimes you just keep using the same fonts because you don't want to scroll all the way down the bottom of your list. So one thing I would like to do with you is to show you a couple of tools that I regularly use in order to create an interesting font combination, but also in order to find fonts that are not into Canva. So the first tool I want to show you is a tool that belongs to Canva itself. And it's uh, this little font combinator. I would call it like this. Uh, so in order to find it, you'll just type in canva.com slash um, font combination, this one right here. So canva.com slash font dash combinations. So I will put the link in, um, in the description or in one of the comments of this video, but most probably in the description of this video. So you can actually try it. So what does the font combinator from Canva do? right here, uh, it helps you combine your fonts. So find a font combination for your design needs. So you start with a font. So these are several of the font included in Canva. They're not all here, but I would say some of the coolest one are here. So one that I like to use a lot is Proxima Nova. So let's just insert this one, Proxima Nova, and you see Canva has four suggestions for you and they even show you uh, a little graphic here or a little like presentation to show you how it looks like. And so what Canva does with this combinator is to give you fonts that go well with Proxima Nova, the font that we inserted in the first place. So we have Lib Libre Bakersville, Bakerville, sorry. Then we have Sanchez. Then we have again Libre Bakerville and League Gothic. So these are the four suggestions here that Canva gives us for Proxima Nova. Let me try something else. Let's say I want to start this again. So I click on the menu on the icon right here. Let's say I want to use another one. Let's say um, let's use a popular one. Montserrat. Montserrat, very common font. So Again, four different options right here. We have Droid Serif. So Canva gives you a little bit of a preview here. And I think you can, yes, you can actually insert your very own text. So let's see a uh, new course coming out soon. And then you can type in here, the course is going to be about blah, blah blah all right so it doesn't really it's not really important what you see here but i want to see if canva no they don't keep this text for the previous or the next slide but it can give you a very interesting overview of what your text actually looks like if you have the text copied somewhere somewhere else sorry in another document you can simply paste it here and you will see what it looks like not actually on the design but here on this part of the font combinator. So again, this is the first type of tool that I use. I think they could update this font combination tool with the newest font that they have included in Canva, but still, this is a pretty cool tool to start with. Okay, another website I would like to show you is called 1001 Fonts. 1001 Fonts, free font baby. So uh, go ahead and click on this. And basically what you have here is a huge collection of fonts. And uh, this website is categorized, so you can use font by different categories. Uh, so serif, sans serif, so they are classified in different ways. So you can search through this website in different ways, okay? The website doesn't look particularly good, but 
you can find some interesting fonts right here. Just be aware that these fonts might not be, will probably not be installed on other people's computers. So if you create new stuff, if you want to import them into Canva, first of all, you will need to have a Canva for work account um, because that's the only way for you to upload custom fonts, right? You need to be a Canva for work uh, user. And then you can upload, I believe, up to 40 different fonts. Not sure. I, I, I think they recently uh, augmented the number, the total number that you can upload. Might be 200 different fonts right now. I'm not sure. I, I need to check this. But you can upload a bunch of font. It used to be only 20, but it, it, it's more now. So um, just be aware of this when you find a font that you like on a website like 101 font or da font or something like that. Uh, in order to upload them and use them in Canva, you will need a Canva for Work account. All right, what other kind of resources can I, can I show you here? What I mostly do, because I want to see the fonts in action, right? I, I think these websites like 101 font, they are nice, but after five minutes, the, you get a little bit overwhelmed by the quantity of fonts that there is here. So it's hard after you've seen like 100 fonts to really make a distinction, like your, your, your brain starts to overheat a little bit uh, if you're like me. So what I like to do is to see these fonts in action. So I would type, for example, best fonts for headlines, and then I will put a date. All right, so you get 60 best fonts for designers in 2019. Okay, let's click on that. So usually what these blog posts will do is that they will show you the work. They will show you what it looks like. See, for example, it starts with Apex MK3. Okay, free display font. You see a, a, an actual design, design with this font. So it gives you a pretty much, like it gives you a pretty good idea of what the font looks like. So that's why I like to browse through blog posts like this one because it puts the font into context. So that's what I wanted to show you for today. Of course, you can uh, go ahead and search the fonts into Canva. So let's quickly jump into a Canva design right here. Doesn't uh, matter which one. And I will tell you, for example, which font I use as my uploaded fonts. So you can have an idea. Let's go for text. Uh, let's make this bigger, like 80, all right? So in my brand font, I have uh, a couple of fonts here that I have uploaded, like Elrond Heavy, Elrond Thin. I'm using Always Thankful, two different uh, weight of this font, Better Together, Campton, the Din Black, uh, Faradisa Script, Futura, Helvetica, always a good uh, staper. And then I have the Proxima Nova that I really like as well. So basically, what I'm trying to show you here is that if you have a Canva for Work account, you can upload your own fonts, but otherwise you can search Canva fonts. And so use the search fun functionalities here before, like before this feature used to, okay, you had to scroll all the way down, but now you can search for your fonts. Fonts that I like, for example, Open Sans. Open Sans is a very cool font. And what I like about it is that you have a different categories of weight for this font so you can actually play with the boldness play with the thinness of this font so it, it gives you a larger array of possibilities another font that i like pretty much about um, the canva font at the moment is the prompt family so if i type in prompt you have prompt black prompt bold prompt light medium and thin so this is also an option that i use regularly uh, what else do we have? I, I like uh, something slab. It's yeah, alpha slab one to create like f big bold headlines. And especially if you go all caps. So these are interesting fonts as well. But of course, it's really up to you, up to the style of designs uh, that you are trying to create. And that's what I wanted to show you. Like a couple of resources. Of course, this is not like an exhaustive course about typography of fonts, but just a few quick tips about finding the right fonts for your design. I believe typography is an essential part of graphic design. There are entire courses about typography and you should learn how to 
combine font fonts a little bit better. If you go back to the uh, the learning tab on this Facebook group, let me show you. I'm going to show you there is one tutorial that I created earlier uh, that you should go ahead and watch if you haven't watched it yet because I give you 10 tips on how to combine fonts. So for those of you who don't know about this section of the Facebook group, you click on the learning tab right here and then you will have access to a unit called how to tutorials, right? So if you click on see more, um, you should see somewhere he here, like how to create frame. Da -da 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 -da. There should be a um, tutorial about fonts. Yes, this one, how to choose the right fonts for your design. And this tutorial is actually pretty complete. And I recommend you watch this one video, how to choose the right font for your design because it's, uh, it's packed with value. I give you 10 tips on how to pair fonts and how to choose the right font for your design. That's it for me today. I wish you a very good week. Uh, please don't hesitate to show me your design, your favorite fonts. Tell me what your favorite fonts are. Uh, it's always nice to know people's favorites so we can try them in our own design. So I will see you in the next video and until then, be very well and create awesome stuff.